Hey everyone, it's James here at Seton, and today I'm showing off my Media Center for Windows Phone. So right here I've already added my uh, Windows Media Center PC in uh, into my Media Center, so let's go ahead and connect up here. Um, and you can add multiple home theater PCs throughout the house. Uh, we also offer features like Wake On LAN as well to wake them up. Uh, and you can also password protect all your PCs as well. Uh, so once you get into my Media Center, right away you have a whole bunch uh, right at your fingertips from television, movies, and then even recent activity um, that's happened on your home theater PC. So right here, right at your fingertips, you can see all your upcoming recordings, recent recordings, and then recent movies that you've either recorded off a of television or added to your uh, local collection, and we'll actually pull metadata for you automatically. So for instance, you can come in, select a movie, get more information, synopsis, cast and crew. Uh, even down here, you can uh, simply watch a trailer, take you to YouTube, uh, or even just select watch. So for instance, here, if I hit watch, um, here it'll pop up and it'll ask me what do I want to watch it on. So I either have my main home theater PC, or in this instance, I actually have a Seton Echo extender hooked up here, and I can actually start playback on the Echo right there. Uh, from there, right away, you can jump right to the remote control. We offer a full remote control. It allows you to control either your home theater PC or your media center extenders, whether it be a, a Seton Echo or an Xbox 360, you can control that from here. Uh, and then uh, we also have a full number pad as well. And then on the bottom down here are your live TV, recorded TV, and other jump sections, or simply uh, option to select uh, a device as well. So let's go ahead and head back out. Some of the other sections here that you have um, under television, you have a full movie gallery, which has a nice cover art for all of your uh, recordings that you've you've done. So we order them by the, the title of this, the series. You go in, jump in, get more information. Um, and you can also have, we added a new feature for movies or for specific uh, series, you can just hit watch random. And hitting watch random will go ahead and start a random episode from that, which is great for kids if they have tons of things like SpongeBob or something, they can just boom, start back. Uh, and as you can see, as we go through, we've, we've paid very uh, great detail to the Metro uh, design on Windows Phone, uh, and we think you'll appreciate that as well. One thing that we, we saw here over, so I flip over to movies, for instance, is under my gallery, I'm actually getting some live information here, and this will also happen on recorded TV as well, that, that since the last time I've come into the app, I've actually added three new movies into my gallery. So I can go here, uh, see everything that's new. I could go in, sort by title, come in, jump down, uh, go to release date. So there's lots of sorting and filtering options as well. Uh, we also have some pretty awesome sections under television as well. Obviously a full grid guide with, uh, with a channel logo support. If you have like my channel logos, for instance, you can come in, uh, browse around the guide. It's really fast, it's snappy, select on a show, simply hit record and now you're recording it on your home theater PC. You also have the option down here to tune the channel or simply go to the remote as well. So we'll go ahead and jump back here. You could also select a channel too. Selecting a channel will bring up the entire um, lineup for that channel. And then you can also just start flipping through all of your channels as well. We have lots of filtering options. So if you wanted to see only HD or different categories, you can also do that as well. Obviously, you spend a lot of time probably in your recorded TV section, so we offer great sorting and filtering by month, last week, this week type of thing. Uh, you get a lot of information, how long it is, if it's HD or not, and of course a lot of sorting, so title, original air date, um, and then also date recorded as well. And of course, lots of filtering as well throughout the entire, entire application, so if you only wanted to see news or specials or things like that, it's really simple. Of course, you can manage all of your uh, schedule recordings and series recordings. You can, so you can come in, make some modifications to it when you want to start before or after, or of course, even cancel a recording as well. So, so another section that's really awesome has to be premieres, and premieres actually goes out, searches your guide, and actually pulls in any series or season premieres that are upcoming, and it actually allows you to go in, simply select one, and record the series. Other sections that we have, obviously things like movies on tonight. So you can actually go in and see any movies that are upcoming on any other channels. 
But something that we felt that was really important and you probably spent a lot of time is actually search. So we have universal search that you can access throughout the application and you can just go in and perhaps start typing star for instance and this will actually go out and it'll search all of your movies, guide information, uh, every, anything that's upcoming, uh, channels, series, everything like that and you can just go in, select something and then simply record it or start watching playback as well. And there's lots of great settings and filters you can come in see if you only want HD programs to come back or what categories you want to search. So we really allow you to come in and optimize the search just for how you want to do it. Uh, these are just some of the features uh, that we have in uh, My Media Center, which is available now on the Windows Phone Marketplace. Uh, we also have great features like Live Tile support, which you're seeing here, um, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I didn't even get into. So we hope you give My Media Center a look, and thank you.